Hey, what's up guys? Uh, I'm coming at you from the Anthem Student Center. Our students in here at the church and the kit. Um, here I'm working on some stuff for this week. Um, it's Tuesday now. On Thursday I'm flying out to hit with Torin on the Air One Positive Hits Tour in San Diego. So I'm doing a show with him. Um, Chris, the guy that's on tour with him, um, who's awesome, Chris Strotter, check his channel out. Uh, I think he's got to go to a wedding or something, so I'm just doing this one show. So I'm flying out to San Diego Thursday, flying back Friday. So it's going to be a whirlwind. It's going to be fun. I thought I would take you guys along with me. So tonight I'm just working on the material. Um, got a little while ago, um, a couple days ago, and so I'm hitting it tonight. So what I've got was the full uh, stem session. Uh, which I bounced out to just like a single track because I actually don't have Ableton 9. Chris has it in Ableton 9, so I had to use someone else's computer. Long story. Um, so I've got the session just bounced out to like a track and then a like a house mix from or a front of house mix from one of the other shows. Um, so I've got those synced up here in Ableton. I'll show you. Um, I've got those synced here in Ableton, and that's what I'm using to rehearse. So what I can do is, um, you know, I can solo out the uh, just the track here. Got my headphones plugged in. I can solo out the actual track, which I left the lead vocals in. You know, which this is the beginning, and I've also got the show. You know, I've got the actual show stuff. So. And one positive pitch to her. Stand up on your feet. I want to see y'all moving, y'all. Who? <laughs> set is so sick uh, it's awesome um, but so since he's on tour uh, Aaron positive hits tour it's a shorter set than like a full show if it was just him so uh, like chopped up a lot of the songs some crazy cool transitions working through different stuff so it's a crazy set it's gonna be super fun um, so I really need to dig in for a couple hours uh, and get to practicing it so I'll probably pick back up with you guys on Thursday morning when I'm flying out maybe if there's anything cool to show you or if anything else happens between now and then uh, I may go through like what I'm bringing you know um, to the show so I'm, I think I'm gonna make this one just one vlog one video for the whole thing since it's just a, a one-off show but all right should be fun to Hobby Airport and uh, I'm about to board my flight and I'm at the most important thing in Hobby Airport which is Papacitos and specifically Papacitos breakfast tacos okay this is this is living uh, so if you've never had Papacitos breakfast tacos at Hobby Airport you're missing out you gotta get them it's really good so it's 908 um, I'm gonna eat real quick and then hop over to my gate and get on the plane. So here we go. This is a a pro tip, pro travel tip. If you want to freshen up at the airport, find the duty free store. Go in and spray a sample, so you can freshen up for free at the duty free store with a cologne sample. So I just got my YSL on. And I'm smelling fresh, heading to the gate. <laughs> All right, so I'm on a flight. We just stopped off um, in Dallas um, on the way to San Diego. So a short flight from Houston to Dallas now in San Diego. So um, usually on flights, I use the time to study the tracks again, listen back, sleep. Um, but honestly, um, this is the perfect time to kind of get my mind in the right space because when I land it's going to be straight to the arena um, load in line check sound check chill for a minute and then the show so it's quick you know all is going to happen in rapid succession so should be fun
landed in San Diego getting lunch. At a burger joint. A, uh, it's like a burger subway. It's supposed to be really good. So, he's gonna get a burger here and then get picked up. All right, I've landed here in San Diego. Uh, I'm walking over to the pickup area. Got a text from the Air One representative uh, that we're gonna wait on. Mark Lee as well, who's the guitar player for Third Day, and he's uh, a part of the Air One tour. He's doing uh, some speaking and stuff, so. I got a burger right out of the gate. Um, pretty good, counter here in San Diego Airport. And uh, picked up my pre-show ritual, which is a Red Bull and a banana. Uh, Red Bull, obviously, what that does, but uh, banana with the potassium helps with cramps. So I always try to eat a banana before a show, and that way, um, you know, I don't have any last minute cramps or anything if I didn't drink enough water. Travel days are always brutal, so like today, it's a travel day and a show day all in one, so. Anyways, should be fun. At the Viejas Arena yeah. with the man himself, Mr. Wells, or as the driver said, Taryn. <laughs> tell Taryn I'm a big fan. So I'll tell him, bro. What's up, dude? You good? Yeah, there you go. Good, good. This is good. But I have to be active for your Nice. Where are you going? What up? Good. Here we are. It's kind of a cool layout. It's a really tight arena. So the seat's going to come out there and then it goes straight up. But they're getting everything set up. There's skillets, kit. Britt Nicole stuff here. By the time we get everything on, we have this much stage. <laughs> yeah, so everything's on, like everything's on at the same time. They just yes. scoot it around, basically. Yeah. They'll push it back. Here's all Skillet's guitars. Looky there. A lot of guitars. Is that Colton's kit there? Yeah. Sweet. What up? Hazer World. We got some food here and catering. Not getting anything. Corn dogs. Th three corn dogs. Chicken pasta. And kind of like an executive suite off the arena. Snacks, assorted meats. Assorted meats. And cereal. I feel like that's a big thing is to have cereal. Lots and lots of cereal. Just backstage getting some of the gear out. Got Torn's piano. Uh, just chilling. Drum head. Pulled all this stuff out of this. It's already on stage. We're waiting for uh, the moment we can bring everything out there. So just kind of hanging out right now, and then we'll get the rest of the stuff out there. I actually haven't seen these up yet because I've been working my hurt all day. Nice. That's awesome. Step down here. All right, we're here on stage. I'm actually going to be using uh, Colton Dixon's drummer's kit just because of the time constraints and everything because they're right after us. So here's their drummer. Why don't you introduce up, yourself, guys? bro? My name is Kai Vandepit. Like I, like I said, I played for Colton Dixon. Yeah. Um, this is my kit. This is my Sweet. setup. Sweet. So right now we're playing a uh, the Pearl Crystal Beat acrylic kit with drum lights. Uh, nice. During the show, you'll see them flowing all pretty. Yeah, so right, right in here, right? Yep, yep. They're running right through the holes. Oh, that's dope. 
So they run DMX to the board. So our amazing lighting director, uh, Hanson, controls them. Uh, it's kind of a cool effect. Uh, I have the 13 by 7 Joey Jordison snare. They haven't made in a while. Yeah. Uh, works really well with this kind of pop setup, electronic type of thing. Um, nice and crisp and high. I run an auxiliary hat on my right side, um, and two 14 inches. Obviously, a plain old hi hat on my left for a lot of syncopated hi hat ry uh, rhythms and patterns because the music's kind of electronic driven. But I'm endorsed by Sovereign Symbols. Um, right here is their new worship line. If you want to check that out, uh, these dudes are awesome. Uh, the company and, and just the purpose behind them, um, honestly, is, is they're great great people and I love that and I'll always support that um, but the worship lines their new their new hitter it's great explodes like a like a really big powerful kind of a custom AX explosion type of thing awesome um, and then we run a rolling electronics so I have the SPDSX over here uh, run a MIDI controller for all my triggers and tracks. okay um, yeah I also do have a KD9 kick trigger down below my uh, floor tom oh sweet yeah um, and then we have the PD8 up here. Um, usually I'll play like electronic grooves on my right side. You got some custom beaters here, bro? Do, Give yeah, me a scoop on that, man. knockout beaters. Oh, uh, nice. Nick out here in, in California, he makes those. Uh, and they're- Bro, it all goes down to California, man. Yes, sir. They're solid, they're awesome. Um, DW Hardware. Yeah. Yeah, man, it's great. Um, endorsed by Evans and Promark uh, Sticks. So, you know, the Diodario deal. Yeah, <laughs> the whole family. Yes, sir. So. Yeah, man. Cool. Sweet, bro. Looking forward to it. Got Torrance piano set up. Yee! So nice. Sick. And we're getting everything rolled in. Uh, our sound check is right now, I think. So, got our side of things here. Set up. We're doing line checks right now, so we are here on stage. Got my kit ready to go. About to patch in all of our track rack. Uh, they got Colton Dixon's tracks and stuff ready, so just uh, about to line check and then do a sound check.
Just finished sound check and now we're chilling on the bus and I get to see how the big stars live right here, man. Pop tart and sugar pop tarts. So it is two no, it's four thirty. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so now we're gonna chill until what, till Gavi? Basically Gavi goes on it. We have Q and A. Q and A, but I'm not. That's is that me? That's not me. No, that's just you. But you can come. Yeah, I'm gonna come forward. Ask some questions. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then yeah, Gabby's at six fifty eight. Q and A, Gabby's at six fifty eight, and then we go on. Our set is sixteen minutes. Fifteen. Fifteen minutes, and then we're off. Mark Lee seven minutes, and then Colton Dixon. Side stage, Storm's about to do the meet and greet. Here's a view of the monitor world. If you're into that. Artist coming around, there's Colton. Brittany Cole. VIP's coming in, so. Doing the Q&A right now. Get the VIPs. I not take long as I can still think about it.
show grub. Doubling down on the burgers. Yeah. Troy got the uh, cowboy burger. <laughs> A little taste of Texas. Yeah, we uh Some food. We're gonna go back and catch the end of skillets set, and uh, yeah, it'll be good. show. Skillet just finished so he's doing his pictures and everything with the people. And just like that, packing up. Coming down. Yeah, cool. <laughs> the elevator is pretty slow, huh? Uh, yeah. Alright. Just got to the hotel. After the show, and it's late. Oh, it is. What time? Twelve thirty here in San Diego. So two thirty Houston time. Crash at the Holiday Inn Express. Um, so I've got a quick turnaround for the morning. Uh, man, what an incredible day, awesome experience. You know me, I'm digging through the video and audio already. Um, but it's uh, 12, yeah, 12.50 San Diego time, so 2.50, 3 o'clock Houston time. Flight leaves at 7.30 in the morning, so get a couple hours sleep. Get up, Uber over to the airport and get out of here. So it was an awesome experience. Um, yeah, and everything was just so cool. People are great to work with. It's definitely cool to see that that many uh, things in motion at one time. You know, different like four different drum kits flying around on risers and everything. So, um, one thing I will say, you know, if you want to uh, do this, or if you're looking to, you know, be a musician that travels or tours or on a show, you've got to be mentally prepared. Um, you know, and thankfully, I'm super comfortable with touring and. We're great friends and material, I, you know, I love the material, been able to work with it. And, you know, this set I haven't had for very long. Um, so, I, you know, working out some of the transitions, I had to really put in some time. Um, but you just gotta be on like, cause for instance, our set is not very long. So it's like, you go, you gotta just be banging out the gate. Like you gotta be on and then it's over. You know, it's just happens like that. So you don't have a lot of time to get comfortable and warm up and get chill. and. I mean, you just gotta go, you gotta be ready. So, uh, just something to think about, like, you know, if you're preparing for material, and uh, it's also a mental thing, you know, like I, I showed earlier, but I drink a Red Bull and eat a banana before a show like this. Just to help myself get hyped, and then also avoid stupid things like cramps, you know, you, may, you never know, you know, with, with your hands and stuff. So, things like that also, you know, um, I don't really as much anymore, and I think maybe playing in church a lot help with this, but like getting, you know, the jitters and stuff, like pre-show jitters every once in a while, get like, it's kind of get kind of excited, but when, you, when I get excited, my feet get fast and my hands get slow. So kind of keeping that even, like getting hype, but also just being comfortable, just getting out there and killing it. So this guy is kind of like random advice, I guess, if you're looking to, you know, do this or work on this. Um, also, I would say get comfortable with Ableton, and uh, that's like an industry standard. So. If you're a drummer and you want to tour, you want to play, you want to do shows, you want to get on with an artist, 
man, you gotta learn Ableton, jump on that. Uh, like for instance, with this show, Chris had the uh, the show set up, so his laptop was on the bus. So I flew in, picked up Chris's computer off the bus, plugged it in, boom, there's the set. You know, I didn't get a chance to like mess with the set, and it was like, you know, I had to be ready with it. Um, so having a good knowledge of Ableton is like vital for that. So, anyways, um, I'm gonna crash, get a couple hours of sleep. Thank you guys for hanging with me. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know my videoing has been just kind of random. Again, everything happened so quick. I didn't get an opportunity to to video a lot of stuff, but hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel. You know, if you like this kind of stuff, you want to see more uh, vlogs of things. Let me know what you want to see. You want to see some more covers? You got a song you want to see? Let me know what's up. Thanks for hanging with me, and we'll see you next time.